Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part 36 of Let's Play We Do Not So on the Realm of Thrones mod, where we are currently just... Well, I was very salty in the last part. I uh, lost the tournament due to a kick that didn't register. Um, and, uh, yeah. Let's just say I'm very, up, like, salty about that still. As you can see, very salty that I just one shot that guy. And shit, I'm the guy on. Okay. I need to go after Yara. Fuck the spear guy. The thing is, I need to make sure Yara doesn't get dehorsed. Because if she gets dehorsed, it's going to be way more annoying to beat her up. There we go. Sorry, she's been. I'll put on the foot. Right. Now I can deal with this dickhead. There we go. Oh. Time after time, you get, you eventually get good at this game. None of a bitch. Is, is the game learned my like my kicking strategy to such a degree that I'm like just not able to use it like consistently anymore? Because if it has, that's really oh, it's Jamie. That's gonna be an easy one. Just throw these so they hit him in the face, and uh, okay, that was just bad. <clears throat> Doesn't matter. Uh, did I say easy? I meant uh, the hardest fight because we didn't have shields and I can't use the kicking strategy on him. Um, I'm having a really bad time with tournaments lately. The good thing is we still won, which means I still get the, uh, the loot, but... At what cost? Uh, do we have do we have any more of these left lying around? No. Nope. Okay, cool. I mean, we are fully leveled up, so you know I'm happy with my uh, units right now. Uh, anyone else leveled up? Uh, Aaron Sand leveled up. I don't know where the dick this dickhead leveled up. Uh, Aaron Sand, what do you do? You wrong one. Uh, it's here. Uh, Aaron Sand. He is currently. He's just a cavalryman. He doesn't have any role besides being a cavalryman, so. So he put a point there so his riding skill could level up a little bit more. And then get a little bit of on foot skill just in case, you know, he does get knocked on his foot, knocked onto feet. Is he going to be able to do a bit more? What did that say? Did that say Realm Scout? Okay, let's have a look at those. Realm Master Sellsword. That's. I didn't know they had their own, like, people. I don't actually want them. I just, I just paid for them so I could look at them. That was legitimately it, but. Still, I mean, it's interesting to see that they have their own like little units now. Like little, like they're slowly but surely kind of changing everything, which is good. To say how popular this mod is, I am still always surprised by how slow they kind of work sometimes. It's been. Why is it always at night? Like, why can't I get a good battle during the day? Okay, I was gonna say, are they dumb enough to come to me? Because if they are, I'll, I, I mean, I'd, 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 I'd pull back and give them a better, like myself, a bigger chance. Okay, where are you gonna stand? Okay, you are pulling back now, smart. Well, as smart as you can be, you know. Right. Move! Infantry! Move! Cavalry! Forward! I'm just going to quickly tab out and check something, guys, if you don't mind. Or even if you do mind, I'm still going to do it. I have to. Uh... There we go. Alright, come on, lads. Get into position. They have 19 skirmishers. 
have a fire at work. Yeah, we, we've got this. Footman. I mean, they're wise enough to put their shields up, but that doesn't mean they're gonna, you know, get. Doesn't mean anything's gonna go well for them, really, does it? You know, while we're in the middle of this battle, I'm going to quickly take Gamma off. And I'm going to put on the Brightness instead. Nope. Two. Yeah, no, Brightness does not help in the same way as Gamma did. Uh, putting Gamma up by a little bit actually helps a lot more, in my opinion. Kill them all! I do not know why you're letting your archers go first, guys. You just... Yeah, they're just going to get themselves killed. Well, as they say, shit happens. Right, didn't form up a big, uh, what's it called? Big uh, shield wall. As they normally like to do. Tell our cavalry to hold arrows so they just, you know, charge in like the mad lads they are. High chance of getting them killed, admittedly, but completely worthwhile. Beautiful. Much better in the than against uh, the fight against Bran was. Get in prison, you knobhead. sell you and then uh we'll we'll sell him just to the twins i mean like i said we don't really give a shit about him as a person you know like we don't, we don't need the influence so you know we're making so much influence now comparatively to what we were making that it's it's not even like you know it's not even necessary for us to like have stuff also i like how sailing is actually quicker over here that makes a lot of sense hey we have a tournament in our own settlement cool let's uh make sure we do that after we have managed the town yeah, stuff's getting built. Uh, let's put another 50 grand in here. Yeah, let's go do the tourney then. A pike wall banner. Ooh. Fancy. Well, we ain't long for this world. Damn it. Problem is, I know my what yeah, I'm saying I know Yara has really good uh, thing. I mean, admittedly, we still won, so whatever we, you know, whatever was unavailable, which was the pipe wall banner, we've now got. So it doesn't really matter, but it's just annoying, you know. I like how I just have kind of like one of every banner at this point. We'll sell that, so I have some money back. Right, uh, let's go check out. Uh, Widow's Watch to make sure Widow's Watch is being built up correctly, and then uh, we'll check out Dreadfort, and then we'll just chase after some enemies for a little bit. I mean, there's nothing else to do right now. Uh, you know, you're know, you going to take charge, and you're going to go fight some mock battles. I mean, why not? Go have some fun, lad. Uh... You've got a lot of stuff to build, but... Uh... You got the money to do it, so get to work. Oh yeah, is uh, not Dreadport is. Damn no, prosperity's down to two. Fuck. Lordsport is uh, yeah, Lordsport like the White Harbor is legitimately not as pop rich as it once was for some reason. Kind of upset, but well, it is what it is. Yeah, you're good. We're not looking for a. F yeah, I was looking for a fight. I just wanted. To, I just told them I wasn't just to make them feel better. Horsemen. Fighters. Turn to enemy. Foot holds fire. Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm gonna say these guys are gonna get themselves absolutely roasted by us. You attacked one of our caravans. What did you think was gonna happen? We were just gonna let you live? Like before that, you were you were wrong. Because clearly, I don't. Oh, well, that's not what's happening here. There is one guy left, and I don't know where he is. Oh, he ran away like an absolute pussy. Did not expect a robber knight to run away. There he is. Yeah. Oh, he he ran away with all the fucking loot as well. The guy was like, must run away with loot. As they say, credit where credit's due. The guy did. The guy tried. He didn't get very far, but he tried. All right, let's get back to uh, White Harbor for now then. Oh my um, yeah, these are doing surprisingly well. Actually, I saw so someone commented saying I could check the trade screen to see what resources uh settlements have. And I forgot to reply in comment. I actually replied in my head, and I thought I actually did send the reply, but I, I actually know I haven't. Um, and I appreciate your actual idea. Like, you can indeed check supplies, like, what's... You can check what's here, you know, by, you know, going into trade menu. The problem with checking the trade menu when it comes to setting up workshops and stuff is you're not actually getting a good representation of what is locally produced. You're getting a... This is what is traded here, what is brought here, what is made, like, what is, you know, you're getting everything from stuff that is, you know, manufactured here, stuff that is brought from villages, and also stuff that is brought from other places via caravans, because obviously that is how the economy system in uh, Bannerlord works, is, you know, we've got the bound villages, which bring the raw resources into a city. You've then got the workshops that produce goods from raw resources, which then obviously populate the, uh, uh city itself and then you have the outside influence of the caravans who bring resources from other cities sell stuff buy stuff and the, you know they trade stuff to between different things to what degree and how deep that goes i honestly don't know but it is deep enough to know that uh you know your choice of wor workshop really does depend on you know stuff like that so if you like obviously ever since they've added this workshop uh, warehouse has been a little easier but basically like if i say let's take put you know let's put i think it's 600 600 grain in there we then go over here and we say hey brewery get your input from the warehouse and then we uh we wait for a couple of days as you can see the warehouse income where uh, workshop income is now a lot higher if we check why it's not the brewery what the fuck Yeah, the brewery is still not getting any better, but whatever. But the reason why certain things work is because if we say we look at... So where we get flax from over here. This is this is flax. So we get finger view. When under our control, it trades... All of the villagers bring flax to White Harbor. White Harbor then distributes the flax as necessary. Obviously, it is a sellable resource. So our workshop will buy it and then turn it into linen. And then linen will then sell, you know onto the market and then the traders will bring it elsewhere you know supply and demand this is why i was like interested so much on what settlements are linked to what because it legitimately we have quite a bunch of a lot of grain so you know more than likely that's why the brewery is not that worthwhile because there's just it's you know there's a lot of it already but you get the point of like it's real this is why you should check the map more than just like look in here and be like oh this is what the city has because you don't know if your city, the city itself, is just simply trading in those resources or if it is actually a resource that is naturally occurring in that sense. Like, you know, is a, uh, is, you know, gathered from the local, like, local area. Which would be obviously the more important of the unit ones. You want locally sourced goods, obviously. But yeah, I apologize if I went, like, a bit too deep into that, but I, I felt like it was, uh, necessary for people who haven't done it before and the reason why i i specifically do it the way i do it uh it's legitimately just because that is the way it needs to be done more than anything just can't get the kit going 
Okay, good. I got through, I got through round one. Oh, fuck off. It's Yara again. Yara's really good with two-handed, though. There we go. God, I hate two-handed. I don't hate it, but I do. You know, it's one of those things where it's like... Ah, fuck. And Jamie won. Okay, fair enough. We still got the loot, but... Yeah, it's not going to be me bringing home the big bucks in terms of, like, you know, the loot. All right. Uh, let's go chill out and see if we can't find some people to fight. Uh, hopefully, there is no want to, for war with the uh, the Veil. Because that would stretch us too thin. Because we've not added any clans to our uh, power. Uh, how is the Veil doing? The Veil is pretty weak, but... I also didn't look up what... Yeah, 0% chance to war with anyone. Apart from King's Landing, which is good. War with King's Landing would probably be worthwhile. Um... Yeah, for the most part, though, the armies just aren't that powerful. We're, like, we're not really able to bring out, you know, the big boys. Or the big guns in this instance. There we go. Now, stupid blood riding bastard. I have no clue how I didn't hit my own ally in the back of the head there, but I didn't. Well, it was good while it lasted. me i'm just getting bullied here i'm sorry jamie lannister lost that's hilarious jamie lannister lost to a fucking really shit troop just like i did yeah i came to winter folks i thought there'd be enemies around here but no well do you know what's a good idea in my opinion We're going to get ourselves a nice big army set up and then we're going to go we're going to like you know force the war give it a day and then everyone will be here and we'll be able to take out moat kaelin all right oh fuck you really I'm a little pissed off that they, uh, like, as soon as I uh, have an, like, as soon as I, like, have an army, they're like, oh, but how about we don't, you know? Do we really need to go to war, you know? Ugh. They were being very anti-Ironborn is what I'm getting at. As soon as the walls are down, we'll break this, break into this bitch and move on. Like I said, the twins are going to be where I want to end this war. I mean, I'll go further if I need to, but you get my point. Like, I, I want to, like, I'm, I refuse to end this war unless we have the twins. Is that Balon? No, it's Victarion. I was going to say, please, Balon Greyjoy, please stay the fuck away from this siege so I can keep in control of it. Two hundred and fifty versus seven hundred and fifty. Yeah, I feel like everyone can see where this is gonna go, can't they? Hey, 
kind of upsetting that the only person using Greyjoy troops is me, even though I know there are other Greyjoy people in this army. I'm just going to chill here and just throw shit at people. Damn it, the archers have figured out that's what I was doing. Alright, can I use a spear from here? Ah. Not with any real sense of effectiveness, no. Yeah, I think the next siege to straight after this needs to be the twins. Like we need to do, you know, we need to keep taking good stuff from the, uh, from the, you know, uh, the Westlands. The Westlands have a little bit too much power, as they say. Oh, fuck off, I'm stuck. I'm gonna break this so it's out of the way. Or I'm not, whatever. Come on, break through these little shits. Come on, they're, they're easy. They're little, little, little pussies. Break through them. I am looking forward to being the next Pansy because I'm pretty sure we have noble retinues, which means I'm going to be able to really have a big army. I think the only thing that would make me stronger is uh, if I if the Balon died and I took over. Like the, so that would make me like the happiest, more more than strongest, it would maybe the happiest, because that way we'd be able to essentially run. An extra 50 troops on top of the extra 40 from Noble Retinue. We'd just be... We would be brokenly powerful, which would be exactly what we'd want, obviously. Okay, Lern. We will uh, pillage it. Go start sieging the twins. Yeah, the Boltons do not like me, but then, then again, do the Boltons like anyone is like a legitimate question. I don't even know if the Boltons like themselves, and, that, and I'm being deadly serious when I say that. They have 17 days worth of food here. Good job, I, I had no intention of starving them out, isn't it? Starving them out would be done. Mostly because, you know, it's uh, it'd be dumb in the sense of uh, it'd be costing a lot of resources and we'd also risk the at attack from uh, the actual main forces of the uh, Baratheons. Oh, they took Grey War Watch. Good for them. They're helping. Right, the walls are down. Um... Oh, I'm very... Let's uh, let's. I want to at least get to the next point of thing, if I can. Hey, so foreman or salvager? Literally only one option. That is, you know, one option that makes any sense of... Semblance of sense. Uh, they are now sieging seek... Wow, they're doing... They're putting the effort in. But unfortunately, guys, we are going to have to end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, please do follow me on YouTube. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a share. But most importantly, guys, stay safe. Have a great day. Join the channel membership if you're interested. And I'll see you in the next one. See you guys then.